My name is Rick Tegelaar and I'm a product designer and I live and work here in Arnhem in the Netherlands. When I was younger, I spent a lot of time in our garage. I was always taking apart broken down appliances, old bicycles, stuff like that. I thought I wanted to be an engineer. So I learned how to weld and use a lathe and a mill and all these basic skills. But then I realized that I really wanted to explore my creativity more. So that's when I first switched to industrial design. In 2007, I started at the product design course here in Arnhem. I was always working with like these really basic low-tech materials. And I developed this technique of forming chicken wire in a very controlled way, very accurately. So these lights were the starting point to really develop this technique and to develop the meshmatic chandelier for Moy. When I graduated the product design course, I was absolutely broke because I invested all my time and money into graduating and developing this technique. But then people said, hey, we really like this light. Can we buy it? After graduation, I started producing the lights. At first, it was great because I could make a living. At one point, I was like making lights seven days a week. I realized that I actually wasn't a designer anymore. I was just producing. Being a designer was my dream and was what I really wanted to do. That's when I knew I really had to think about the next step and to find a producer. But I actually met Moy through a whole different project. I was working on a prototype which is called Filigree. We went to Moy, to Casper at the time, one of the founders. He really liked the prototype and they decided to put it into production. About a month before the filigree was launched in Milan, I was exhibiting in Dubai. By chance, my booth was right next to that of Marcel Wanders. We never like met one-to-one. -one. We talked a bit about filigree, he said, all going well, and uh, just some small talk. And then all of a sudden he said, oh, that's all great, but who made this? And he pointed at the Meshmetics chandelier. I said, well, I also made that. And then he was really like, dude, why did you never show it to me? I worked with Moy's product development team to turn my artisanal process into a more industrial process. Meshmetics was launched in Milan in 2017. It's a big light, but it's not a real big visual block, so it's really transparent and it almost sort of is like a cage for the light. So you have all these different transparencies and all these different kind of reflections that give this very basic material something almost magical. The Meshmetics being in the collection of Moy is a bit like my child is leaving home. It's a bit scary, but it's also really nice to see the product really taking off and popping up in showrooms around the world. <laughs> 